Omelette's guest today is none other than the greatest, Muhammad Ali. No, I'm getting old. Oh, I'm come not. on. You're just tired there. right now. I'm like your husband, Run allows. We're getting old now. We has been. Well, now, we're older than you are. No, you're not much over 45. I want to <laughs> Now I just took my breath away. <laughs> Congratulations. You Thank really you. did what you set oh, out to do. I tried. I'm glad. It's all over now. The main thing, I'm glad to be home. Glad to see so many people out in the city's progress and so and the structure and mental attitude to people. Just one big happy family. It's really yeah. nice. And I'm thinking about coming back to Lowell to live a while. A it's just a few months a year. What about, why don't you just quit now? I hear all this talk about you still going to do some more. Well, Dark. yes, I'm trying to get them to do something that's never been done before. You already have. I won't, yeah, but I'm going to do something that's on top of it all. They're still not satisfied, although I did it. George Fulman was talking about the ropes was too loose, the count was fast, the ring was soft. As hard as he fell, he better be glad it was soft, <laughs> and all this type of stuff. But I'm trying to get two men in one night. I'm trying to get Joe Frazier for 10 rounds, George Fulman for 10 rounds. I want them both in the same night. I want Joe Frazier first. After whoop Joe Frazier, whether it's a TKO or a knockout or whatever round it is, I want George Fulman to jump right in the ring that night, get some commissions to sanction it. If it's not in America, I'll take it to another country. Because uh, then I want, uh, I'm going to whoop George Fulman right after I whoop Joe Frazier. And I'm going to have it said the day after that Muhammad Ali whipped Joe Frazier and George Foreman with no rest in the same in the night. Same and this night. will stop all the talk about who's the greatest of all time. And if no excuses. To whoop two men in one night. If it can't be done here, you'll do it somewhere else. I'll do it somewhere else. I got a certain president in Asia. I got one in Africa and a European commission who was sanctioned. As a matter of fact, they're going to pay up all the money anyway. So I think the fight has to be in their country. If it's not recognized in this country as a title fights, we don't care. I have my own title. I'm above boxing. I'm above uh, the uh, regular laws. Well, would you be doing this to prove it to other people? Aren't you yourself satisfied with where you are now? Yes, but I just want to say it. I want to do something like man went to the moon, now he wants to go to Mars, and he's trying to do everything. And they're doing, you're building up Louisville, you got hotels, you're doing things, uh, suppressed ways I never would have believed. And in the sports world, I want to do things. I want two men in one night. I want to set a record that nobody else will top. I want George Foreman and I want Joe Frazier both in the same night. And I you know, will them both. Okay, you know your buddy who does the show with me, Milton Metz, right? Right. He's got a question he wants me to ask you. You whooped him and you whooped him good, right? That's right. Now, why did you downgrade him and, and badmouth him so much afterwards? Because that's what they would, they would did me worse than that if I had laws. They wouldn't have just downgraded me. They downgraded the morals and religion. That's they right. downgraded, they brought up the draft. Uh, they brought up everything that I've done, right. that I'm washed up. Uh, so in other words, you... They would have got not only him, not only uh, would he say something, but the whole power structure. Howard Cosell was already saying, I don't have a prayer. Mm -hmm. One magazine called New Time already had an article out headlining. Can, can Yeah, can Allah save Ali? <laughs> what you mean, can God save Ali? Allah is God. God can save nations. God can destroy nations. Yes, God can make me whoop George Fulman. He so did. you just mean this was just uh, this something just, that he would have done anyway if he well, had Well, he would have said something. Like Ken Norton broke my jaw, and they kept talking about Norton broke his jaw, and they downgraded me. And he started talking about I should I would have broke the other jaw if I had more time, mm. and if I fight him again, I'm gonna break his jaw again because he won the first one, and the press promoted him. Then when I get on one man like George Fulman, they wanna jump on me for getting on Fulman. They was gonna get on me and everything I represent. If uh, I, even my God, if he would have won, mm -hmm. so I they're lucky that he's on his one I did get on. I should have got on some more. 